What's up everybody, this is Jack from Crypto Way Niner, bringing you my knowledge in cryptocurrency. So today I just want to give you guys my final thoughts on cloud mining. For people that don't know or haven't been following the news, I mean I actually missed this when it first came out, but it's been a few days and hopefully some of you guys have seen this already. The Securities Commissioner of South Carolina has issued a cease and desist against Genesis Mining. They are the largest cloud mining company that I know of. And the second place in my mind is Hashware. So these are the number one and two. For people that don't know what cloud mining is, let me go ahead and define it for you guys. So cloud mining is the process of leasing computing resources to mine cryptocurrencies. And that's really no problem with the Securities Commissioner of South Carolina. Problem is with the contracts that Genesis Mining sells to its customers and specifically customers that reside in the state of South Carolina in the United States. What they're complaining about is, if you go through the PDF that they have here, they are saying specifically that the computational effort put forth by respondent Genesis Mining is designed to generate a stream of cryptocurrency units. The value of each cryptocurrency compared to the United States dollars varies widely, and the number of cryptocurrencies units generated by respondent Genesis Mining efforts is based on a variety of factors. However, a fundamental purpose of purchasing a mining contract is to generate a profit. It's not that the Securities Commissioner of South Carolina has anything against people living in South Carolina from making a profit. If you promise to make a profit for somebody via these contracts, these contracts become security instruments and that's why you need to be a licensed broker dealer. The definition of security is a security is a fungible, negotiable financial instrument that holds some type of monetary value. And that's essentially what these mining contracts are. They hold some type of value. And you need to be a broker dealer to sell these type of contracts. So a broker dealer is a brokerage firm that buys and sells securities on its own as a principal before selling the securities to customers. I mean, it doesn't completely fit into that box of the broker dealer for Genesis Mining because they're not actually buying and selling these securities. They're actually creating these securities in a sense because they are creating these mining contracts. But essentially, a lot of the different financial instruments that is traded on in the stock market, like options and things like that, are actually basically just contracts. Options is a, is a contract. So in this case, a mining contract is still a contract, and that's what the state of South Carolina considers these contracts as, security instruments. But that doesn't mean the cryptocurrencies themselves are considered as securities by the SEC of South Carolina, just the mining contracts themselves. That's why Coinbase and other exchanges are safe in this regard. So a lot of people are confusing. They're thinking, oh no, it's like the SEC of South Carolina now thinks that cryptocurrencies are securities. At least a lot of YouTubers I've been seeing videos talking about this subject are saying that. That's not the case here. The SEC of South Carolina didn't say that cryptocurrencies are securities because right now, as defined by the IRS, cryptocurrencies are properties. The SEC of South Carolina knows that. And what they're saying is not the cryptocurrencies, but the mining contracts are securities. Here are my thoughts on this whole entire topic overall. While I believe cryptocurrency and hash player are legitimately mining cryptocurrencies and not Ponzi scamming people by paying out people with money from new contracts that they sold, they ultimately control your money. Unlike a bank which have FDIC insurance, at least in the United States, or even stocks or bonds which entitle the holder to recoup some of their investments, even if it is really pennies on the dollar like what happened to Bear Stearns and Lehman Brothers during the financial crisis, these mining contracts do not guarantee anything if there are any issues with these companies. In addition, you can't do anything if these companies decide to restrict withdrawals to specific minimums or increase maintenance costs if there are any attached to the contract. You are under the total control of these companies for the duration of these contracts. I mean, it's really true because I know if you bought the Bitcoin mining contracts from Genesis Mining, there's supposed to be no maintenance fee. But the withdrawal minimums, they can change it at any time. And I've seen that with Hashflare. I experienced it with Hashflare. And I'm sure that's the case with Genesis Mining as well. They can just make it as high as they want to, to a point where like you cannot withdraw it at any point in time unless they feel like it. And the other thing is the maintenance cost. Again, I've seen this happen with Hashflare. Even though this complaint, this cease and desist isn't against Hashflare, but they, this just shows you that these mining companies have total control because 
Hashflare has been increasing the maintenance costs for my Bitcoin mining contract. And I have no control over it. They can increase as much as they want to, to the point where like I'm getting nothing. And I'm sure people will, compl will be complaining if that happens. But they haven't done that. What they do is they incrementally increase the maintenance costs. You wouldn't see a drastic change and you would kind of think of it as a difficulty increase that is related to Bitcoin mining. You also can't sell these contracts back to these companies if you want to stop mining for any reason. And that's true, basically, you're locked in. Even with Genesis Mining, they have no additional hardware at this point to be able to offer new mining contracts. But I'm sure if they offer an option for people to sell these contracts back to Genesis Mining, there are a lot of people that want to do it just because, hey, you know, for whatever reason, you want to liquidate your position and get back whatever money you invested in or the portion of the money you invested into these mining contracts. You can't do that, though. And that's the reason why. It's just like it's it's really frustrating for people. And I can see why a cease and desist has been issued to Genesis Mining. So that's why I will no longer promote or talk about any cloud mining companies going forward. I will also remove all referral links to cloud mining companies as I believe we should all be responsible for our own investments at all times. It really comes down to us as at all times, not half the time, not part of the time, not 5% of the time. It's got to be at all times. So that's my video for today. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know why you guys think cloud mining is good or cloud mining is bad. Let me know if you guys agree with my stance or not. I really want to hear about it. Click on the like button for me and click on the subscribe button for me if you haven't done so yet. I really, really appreciate you guys. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining, it isn't worth speculating. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.